friends this is aparna and welcome to aparna's magic let's go to the kitchen and let's get started we need paneer or cottage cheese here it is 250 grams of paneer or cottage cheese this is chopped onion or pyaaz this is kaju or cashew nuts this is couscous that means poppy seed this is called pesto also this is chopped onion or pyaaz this is halwa powder or turmeric powder this is kashmiri red chili powder this is dhania powder that means coriander powder this is elaichi powder that means cardamom powder this is dry ginger powder that means dry adrak ki powder or salt this is yogurt or dahi this is cinnamon stick that means dalchini and elaichi that means cardamom and dried kasuri methi this is keura water that means keura jal this is garam masala powder and this is ghee our oil is nicely heated up so we are going to fry the paneer or cottage cheese now let them fry for a while they are nicely fried so we are going to take them out we need to grind onion or pyaaz add cashew nuts that means kaju add couscous that means poppy seeds or pesto now add yogurt or the now add little bit of water or pani very little now we will grind it we have finished grinding now in the same oil put two elaichi or cardamom and dalchini that means cinnamon sticks let them crack up now add 1 teaspoon of haldi powder or turmeric powder and 1 teaspoon of kashmiri red chili powder mix it now add the chopped onion or pyaaz now let them fry for a while they are nicely fried so in this stage add the paste into it mix it add little bit of water or pani if it is too thick now add 1 teaspoon of this is dhania powder that means coriander powder 1 teaspoon of this is elaichi powder that means cardamom powder and 1 teaspoon of this is dry ginger powder that means salt or dry adrak ki powder add salt to taste or namak and mix it nicely let them cook for a while they have been cooking for 7 to 8 minutes now so in this stage add the fried paneer or fried cottage cheese mix it very gently and let them cook again they have been cooking for another 10 minutes now So it is almost done. So in this stage, add one teaspoon of this is garam masala powder, one teaspoon of this is keura water or keura jal, add dried kasuri methi, and one teaspoon of 
can't. Now mix it very gently. And you are done. Stay tuned for more recipes and please subscribe my channel.